Hey guys, what's up? It's J Tech Talker, and I'll be teaching you guys what you must do once you have Final Cut Pro 10 bought and installed from the Mac App Store. So, as you see here, I have Final Cut Pro and Motion 5, and in software updates where you can open up in the menu bar from the Apple logo up to software update, uh, you can just let your Mac check for all updates and you'll be greeted with a bunch of updates according to how much how much uh, apps you actually downloaded. So for Final Cut Pro 10 supplemental content, you'll get over 1,300 sound effects uh, royalty free. You have audio effect presets, which is really awesome. It's uh, around half a gig. And in motion supplemental content, it's around a gig and a bit. So you'll have a bunch of templates, library contents with uh, graphics, backgrounds, templates, um, royalty free still images, and you'll have sample media for um, support with motion help examples and tutorials. So it's an additional content you can get from the software update and in ProUp's QuickTime Codex you'll be able to have the following video codecs for use by QuickTime based applications which includes Final Cut Pro 10, Motion 5 and Compressor 4. So you've got a bunch of new codecs, additional codecs which you add on to those applications. So just remember to install these free items or more if you got Compressor and so yeah, you must install these free items. It will download uh, not too much. It won't take too long, but it is really important. You get all those awesome templates and royalty free images and sounds. So remember to download these after purchasing the apps from the Mac App Store. So once it has finished installing, you won't need any restart and you're basically set to go.